Hi TK and kindergarten students at Nob Hill. It's Miss Miller again. Thanks for coming back for some more lessons. I really enjoy spending time with you guys like this um, if I can't be with you at school. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started and right next to this video, as always, is a spot for you to pop in and say hello. So if you pop into that Google form and just say hi or share something with me, you earn two points for your class in our class competition. Alrighty, then the lessons are gonna start. After that, then I'm going to continue on with some rhythm activities, some notes and rests, right? And I love seeing the videos that some of you are sending me with you practicing. I've seen kiddos practicing clapping or practicing with an instrument and playing the notes and rests that I present in the next video. So that's fantastic. Keep it up. I love seeing that. Then you're going to get to go to the orchestra with a boy named Georgie and he's visiting the Sydney Orchestra in Australia and he's going to ask some questions and you get to follow along and it's really awesome because he's a boy close to your age and he may have some of the same questions you have about instruments in the orchestra. Then you're going to find out how some instruments make sound and we're going to introduce four of them to you this week. We're going to be talking about plucking an instrument, hitting an instrument, shaking an instrument, and blowing into an instrument, okay? And then right after that, we're going to encourage you to do a sound scavenger hunt. That sounds like so much fun. So you're gonna go around your own house and see if you can find some things that make sounds similar to the ones that the teachers talk about in the four lessons. Then you're gonna see the choice board from the week before. Okay, so last week we had a choice board where you could listen to some music that sounded like a horse, a shark, a bumblebee. We had three others as well. So if you did not get to explore all of those sounds last week, you get a chance to try them again. If you did do all of them last time, then you can choose your favorite one or two and listen to those ones again. Okay. After that, you're going to hopefully complete your Google form, answer just a couple questions for me, and then you earn three points for your class. And then the choice board for our competition is after, where you can see what you can do for music, PE, and library. Remember, if you share anything on Flipgrid for me or the other, three, the other two teachers, um, you'll earn four points for your class for our competition. Lastly, I want, to ex I want you to explore one more thing for me if you have time this week. Do your lesson that I have right after this, but then this week, the second grade lesson is super, super cool. And if you have some time, I'd love for you to go visit that lesson as well. And it's all about beatboxing and learning how and listening to some others do it and even some computer programs um, to help you figure out how to be better at beatboxing. So if you get a chance, go visit the second grade lesson this week too because it is super cool. All right, have a great week. Keep making music and I'll see you soon.